Hi everyone. In this video, I'll explain what a color option strategy is and how to simulate it within Python. The packages that we'll use include yfinance, math, scipy, numpy, matplotlib, and ipython. A brief disclaimer before we get started, this video is meant for learning purposes only and in no way advocates using a color option strategy within your own portfolio. The first thing that we need is a tool in order to value our theoretical call and put options. We'll use the black scholes merton model. And in the description, I have a video that goes into more detail into how the model works and the assumptions that are made within the model. Moving on to the collar strategy itself, a collar strategy is executed by selling a call option on an underlying asset that is held in the portfolio while simultaneously purchasing a protective put. In our example, we are going to hold a portfolio of 100 shares of Apple stock. We are looking to protect our Apple shares because we think they may fall. The way that we'll do this is we want to purchase a protective put, but we don't want to pay just for the premium outright. What we'll do is we'll also sell a covered call where the collar strategy is really a combination of a covered call and protective put. This clearly defines both our maximum gain and loss for the portfolio. And let's get into actually simulating this within Python to get a better idea of how this works. What we'll do first is we are going to create a variable called AAPL, and this is going to use Y Finance and the ticker object, which is going to allow us to pull all the data from Yahoo Finance. We'll get the current stock price of Apple shares. We're going to set the strike price of the call at $180, which is out of the money because anytime the strike price is above the current stock price, that is out of the money. Same thing for the put option within our scenario. It is out of the money because the strike price, $160, is less than the current stock price, which is $172. For our risk-free weight rate, we'll use the 10-year treasury note. For our implied volatility, we'll estimate that it's 30% annualized. Our time factor is 0.5 because we are looking to implement a collar that's six months out. And since we're working with years, it will just be 0.5. Finally, we are, we're also going to input the dividend yield. And if we run this, we'll also get to see the current price of Apple shares. And they stand at $172.19. What we'll do next is we are going to get an estimate of the value of the call option as well as the put option. We need to break these two apart, and we're going to run the black scholes merton function. We'll use indexing to get the call, which is going to be the first element in our list, and then the put, which is the second element in the list. And the reason why we need to run these separately is because we have different strike prices. For the call option, our strike price is $180, and for our put option, it's $160. We're, we also need to calculate the net premium, which is going to be the value of the premium that we get for selling the call option subtracted by the value of the put option, which we purchase. Let's run this. And in our case, our net premium is going to be positive because the value of the call option is above the put option. So we're actually going to get paid for implementing the collar strategy. If the put price was larger than the call option price, then we would be ha we would have to pay in order to implement the collar strategy. Next, we also need to define our portfolio of shares into a variable. I'll call it AAPL portfolio. And the current value is $17,219. What we'll do next is we're going to illustrate this and we're going to look at the value of our collar at different price points. And we're going to vary the stock price of Apple shares 
from a range of $125 up to, but not including, $225. And we're going to increment each of these values by 10 cents. Next, we are actually going to run our collar strategy. And the way that we do this is we're going to do it with a for loop. What we'll say is if Apple shares the current stock price is above the strike price, the value of our portfolio is going to be the strike price of the call option plus the net premium multiplied by 100. If the stock price is less than the strike price of the put option, then the value of our portfolio is going to be the strike price plus the net premium multiplied by 100. Finally, if the stock price is somewhere in between our maximum value and our minimum value here, then we'll just take the stock price and add the net premium to it. Let's run this and let's run it here as well. And here we have our collar strategy. We can see that our total, our maximum gain, our, the maximum value and the minimum value are clearly defined here. In our case, it's going to be right at the strike price of 180 plus the net premium. So it will be right above $18,000, roughly $18,330. And then for the loss, it will be capped at 16,000 plus the net premium. And here we have a similar risk to what we would have in a covered call. If the stock price just kept rising, say up to $220, the maximum value we can get is still just the strike price plus the net premium. And what we can also do is we can loosen the collar and tighten the collar. What I'll do first is I'm going to loosen the collar by setting the strike prices more out of the money. Here we can see that since we loosen the collar, this means that we have a broader range of potential outcomes. Our gains are potentially greater if we loosen the collar where it's going to be $190 plus the premium. However, our downside can also be greater and our collar strategy can fall down to $150 plus the net premium. We can also take a look what happens if we tighten the collar, meaning that we bring the strike prices closer to the actual trading price. Here we have a tighter collar where the range of outcomes is much smaller and it's limited to a downside of $165 plus the net premium and the upside is also limited to $175 plus the net premium. Depending on whether you want less risk or more risk or you want a broader range of outcomes or a tighter range of outcomes, you can play with the collar and the strike prices to see how that would affect the collar strategy. And what I'll do last is we can wrap all of those cells into a function that we can run for different stocks. And all we need to do is input the parameters such as the strike price of our call, the strike price of our put, implied volatility, time to expiration, and the quantity in case we have more than 100 shares of Apple. And we have this all laid out here and you can play around with this as well. What we could do is we can test out that the function works properly. And we can see that our function was able to recreate what we did in the cells before for Apple shares. What we can also do is we can run this for IBM shares just to test this out. And it looks like it went through as well. In this case, we actually have a negative net premium, meaning the put option for IBM shares was more expensive than the call option. So in this case, instead of getting paid to implement the collar strategy, we need to pay to implement it. And we still have a very, the same dynamics where we have the maximum gains clearly outlined and the maximum loss clearly outlined. It's just a little less favorable because we don't get to take in a net premium. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful. Here I have linked a few additional references 
in the description i'll also link in videos i made on covered calls and protective puts because a collar strategy is at the end of the day a combination of the two and i also have some other resources that i found very helpful investopedia is great bionic turtle is great options features and other derivatives which is a very famous textbook by john z hole if you want to learn about derivatives that's the go-to Feel free to like the video if you found it helpful. You can also subscribe and you can connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and GitHub. Thank you everyone for watching and happy coding.